What's goody peeps? It's your boy King Paul and today I'm gonna tell you guys a story about when I thought that I was gonna die at a mall in Las Vegas. Before I start the story, I just want to let you guys know that my mom is selling these African fabric face masks so you guys can be stylish while being sanitary during this pandemic. If you would like to buy one, all you have to do is click the link in my description. There are mystery pack options where we choose the mask that you will get depending on the quantity that you get. And there are also individual options as well so you know exactly which mask you're getting. The elastic on these masks are really stretchy so they could fit just about anybody. And shipping only takes three to five days depending on where you're located. So if you're interested, definitely click the link in my description and support. And without further ado, let's get started with this video. Regardless of wherever I travel to, I always make it my duty to stop at the best mall in that city. So as soon as we checked into the hotel, I started looking for malls and I saw that the fashion show mall had the best reviews. So I called the Uber and we were on our way. While we were in the car, the Uber driver was telling us that we got to see this store and this store and this mall is known for this and that. So I'm just like, bet this joint about to be lit. And even when we pulled up, the joint was huge. Like I stepped out of the car like, oh my God, wow. So we enter Forever 21 and I'm seeing clothes that they don't even have in Maryland. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm about to drop a bag today. So we leave Forever 21 and we start walking around the mall and I'm just seeing a whole bunch of different stores and I'm just excited, really feeling like a tourist. You know what I'm saying? It's my first time in Vegas. Then we see the store Lolly and Pops and my ex starts going crazy. He's like, oh my gosh, let's go in there. And I'm just like, oh Lord, again, a fucking again. I don't know what it is about that store, but every time she sees it in a mall, she always makes sure that she steps in there. She gets this Hispanic candy that's like watermelon with like some peppers on it. I don't know. But we stepped in there, and the whole time we was in there, I was just like. <sighs> because going to the mall with girls is boring. If you're watching this and you have a girlfriend, I'm pretty sure you know. All they do is pick up and drop the same damn item a hundred times and they're just so indecisive and they like read the labels and all that. It's just boring. Guys, when we shop, all we do is see something, we like it, we pick it, go to the cashier, you know what I'm saying, go to the register and check out. So I was just cool and let her do her thing and then all of a sudden we just see a whole bunch of people running past the store and I'm just sitting there like, why are you running? Why are you running? So that's some dude running in the store and he was like, they were just shooting and I was just like, Jesus is Lord. Shooting? So then the manager of the store locked the door up and she was like, everybody get to the back, everybody get to the back. And I was just like, you don't have to say another word. I was on my way straight to the back. Pew. And while I was running, I did some white girl shit. Aww. I tripped on nothing, just tripped. So my ex picked me up and was like, come on. And I just felt uneven. Then I looked down and I only had one slide on. I turn around and lo and behold, I see my slide on the ground surrounded by gummy bears and I just start thinking, if I go get that slide, there may be a possibility that the shooter runs up in here and starts busting and then I'm gonna die. But then I was like, but I did pay a hundred and something dollars for these slides, though I can't just go like that. So I was sitting there in the middle of the mall debating if I should go pick up my slide or not like. And I was just like, fuck it, and I picked up my slide and then we ran into the back and I recorded this snap. Close that door! Close that door. That's Close that door. crazy, bro. Shot? Shot is okay. supposed to... Guys, you might not want to be there by that door. Now, can go Don't worry, Don't worry baby. We so we in the back and everybody's panicking. There's some women in there screaming and crying. There's some dudes in there so scared that I can see their heart pounding through their chest. And I'm just like, man, I can't go out like this. So I just start praying to God and telling him a whole bunch of lies like... Father God, if you bring me out of this alive, I promise you I'm gonna stop lying to my girl right here and telling her that I'm staying late at school to study when I'm really going to my little booze door to blow her back out. Cap. So after some time went by, the manager went to take a peek out at the store and then she saw that a whole bunch of people were just walking regularly again. So she was like, yeah, I think y'all are good, y'all. And everybody was hesitant at first, but then we all got up out of there and then I recorded this snap. Look at this, y'all, that's crazy. My black ass fell right there. Then I called an Uber right away and we boogie woogie our black ass back to the hotel and stayed inside for the rest of that day. And yep, that's it. I hope the video entertained you and made you laugh. Don't forget to click the link in my description to cop African fabric face mask. And let me know in the comments below what you would have did if you would have looked down in that situation and saw that you lost your slide. But till next time, toodaloo. Hey, my friend, please follow me on all of the apps below. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Toodaloo!